Hi, my name is Lindsay Schiller and I am the FSU Career Center Liaison to the College of Fine Art and the College of Music. And today I'm here with Lauren Anna King, and she is a recruiter with City Year. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Lindsay. Thank you for having me. How's it going? Pretty good, pretty good, no complaints. Pretty good. Can you, since we're doing coffee break career conversations, can you tell me about your coffee cup today? Definitely, I've been excited for this question. Um, I have a coffee cup here. I'm drinking tea right now because it's the afternoon. Um, and the reason this is my favorite coffee cup is because for Christmas this year, I got a milk frother, which sounds very, um, I don't know, extra, I guess. And, um, but it, I really like a lot of milk in my coffee and this is a bit like a pretty large coffee cup. So I'm able to fit a lot of milk and make my own lattes. So I'm a barista at home. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, no, I'm a fan of a big coffee cup too. So I'm rocking Alice in Wonderland today. It was my, my favorite childhood kind of book and Disney movie. So here for it. Um, I'm here for it. Yeah, so now we've got our coffee. Can you talk to me about City Year? Like, what is it? And can you describe your role as a recruiter? Absolutely. Um, so yes, City Year is a organization that partners with AmeriCorps. Um, so for anyone that um, is curious about what AmeriCorps is, um, is a national service organization that works in a lot of different areas. Um, but City Year specifically works in the education sector. Um, so we are a nonprofit that works all across the country. Um, our overall goal of the work that we do is to reduce the dropout rate among students in public schools across the country. Um, so that's kind of a broad overview of the work that we do. My job as a recruiter in this role is really to work to fill positions. We hire um, three over 3,000 AmeriCorps members each year. Um, so my, my specific role is to work directly with some large universities in Florida um, to find to find candidates who would like to give a year of service with City Year. So Lauren, with that year of service, uh, does City Year compensate the students in any way or are they working for free for the year? Yes, you do have a couple of different um, benefits that you receive as an AmeriCorps member. Um, if I do like to be upfront that because it is a year of service, um, you it's not a traditionally salaried position. So it is compensated with a stipend. Um, the stipend amount ranges between $635 and $960 every two weeks. Um, so first is the stipend. That's what you receive while you're in service. Um, there are some other localized benefits at each site as well, um, including health care, child care, transportation benefits, those sorts of things. But I think probably the most attractive benefits available to our AmeriCorps members are in terms of higher education. Um, so first you receive, after you complete your year of service, you receive um, the Siegel Education Award, which is essentially just money that you can use to pay off any loans that you may have acquired um, during undergrad, or you can use to put towards any future educational costs. And the amount of that award is a little bit over $6,000. Um, you do have the opportunity to do two city years to double that amount. Um, and then lastly, the, the benefit that I most like to promote is um, the, that we have university partnerships. Um, so you, ha we have over 100 different programs across the country that we partner with to offer quite substantial scholarships to our city year members. Um, so if grad school, um, any type of grad school really is, is an avenue that you're even thinking about, um, this, is a, this is an opportunity for you to kind of explore what types of discounts essentially you could get on your education. That's awesome benefit package, Lauren. Thank you for sharing all of that. Uh, would you say that the student you're looking for fits a certain major? Do they have to have a certain skill set or do they have to be interested in going to grad school? Um, great question. Definitely don't have to be interested in going to grad school. Um, that's just a, a, a benefit that I like to promote because it is quite valuable if that's something that you're interested in. Um, uh, but in terms of the ideal applicant that we're looking for, um, 
There is no preference in terms of majors. Um, the, the idea of the role itself is that you, I like to describe it as a half tutor, half mentor. Um, so kind of by design of the program, are the students that we work with in schools really benefit from from a diverse um, skill set that you come to us with so um, if you're an engineer great if you're um, a fine arts major also great um, so the exposure that our students are able to 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 interact with um, from a, a variety of different uh, backgrounds is really beneficial to the students um, but there are some things that would make you an ideal candidate for, for working with us. I think first would be um, a really clear vision of why you would like to do this type of work. Um, we really pride ourselves a lot in, in our commitment to teamwork, our commitment to kind of um, promoting educational equity across the country. So um, a clear vision of why you would be interested in that type of work it will make you stand out as an applicant. Um, additionally, any experience that you do have working with um, students or in a tutoring or mentorship capacity, definitely valuable. Um, flexibility is definitely good, being able to adapt um, those kinds of practical skill sets um, can definitely be developed during your city year, um, but definitely valuable to be able to come to, to the experience with those already. All right. And then what would you say is the advantage of having city year on a resume? Where, where do your, your alumni go? Um, I love this question. Our alumni are, go all over the place. Um, there are plenty of alumni that we have that are working in like a medical, in the medical field. Lots of people um, tend to be interested in going to law school to become lawyers. Um, uh, additionally, a lot of probably about 50% of our staff served as AmeriCorps members as well. Um, so if you're interested in the nonprofit world, um, this, there's definitely a path for you there. Um, but I think that what makes, what is so great about having city or on your resume is that it is very practical professional experience um, that maybe for those, for those students who are kind of trying to get their toes wet and figure out exactly where they want their career to take them. Um, this is a really great way for you to be exposed to a lot of different opportunities going forward. Um, throughout, the, throughout the city year, we have what we call leadership and development days, which is basically time for you to either, um, depending on the day, depending on the session, um, this is time for you to be able to network um, with partners that we have in each city, um, time for you to work on your professional skills, um, do LinkedIn workshops, all that kind of good stuff. So um, it's really kind of like a boot camp, um, essentially, in addition to doing uh, work that you can feel really good about on the day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, no, I, I think if I had known about City Year when I was in college, it would have been a great option as well. Uh, so, you know, I, I'm really looking forward to sharing it more with students. But I guess kind of on the, last <laughs> note, <yeah. laughs> on the last note, uh, what advice do you have for them? You know, they're, they're looking at a pandemic kind of job world. What advice can you give either, you know, for college or for post-grad? Yeah. Um, well, like you said, I wish that I had found City Year when I was in the eligible age range to participate as an AmeriCorps member myself, um, because I felt when I was in my senior year at university, I, I, I was kind of, you know, stuck as to where I wanted to take myself going forward. Um, I knew that I wanted to do work that I could feel good about, but wasn't exactly sure how to utilize my degree in, in that capacity. Um, so I think that Advice that I would have for undergrads currently um, at any time, not just during a pandemic, would be to not be afraid to explore all different avenues. Um, even if you do have a really specific vision for what you want your career path to look like, it might not be immediately available to you and that's okay. Um, so I think that being able to to take a risk, maybe um, follow your instincts really in, in terms of if something feels right for you or does not feel right for you, um, trust yourself and, and you know, don't be afraid to experiment. Um, there's so many different avenues that you can take that will lead you to, to the place that you wanna be ultimately, but maybe it doesn't feel like that in the moment. So um, I think just, you know, 
go into the career field, especially during a pandemic with a little bit of an open mind. I, yeah, that is amazing advice. I, I couldn't have said it better myself. So I definitely agree with you. Uh, but Lauren, thank you so much for joining and representing City Year today. And I look forward to continue to work together. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate the time so much. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Lauren. Bye. Bye.